Today we're going to learn how to keep your butt out of trouble and your drone in the air. Don't go away. Hello gang and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, many may ignore the information I'm going to provide in this video, and, and that's fine. You know, personal choice and all of that stuff. So, ignore this if you will, but if you do, say goodbye to your drone. So here is the unvarnished truth. Drones are clinging to life by the hair of their chinny-chin-chin. Why? Because we are screwing up. We ignore the rules. We crash our drones into buildings. We fly in dangerous fashions. We literally are putting lives at risk. And the most recent FAA rules are like a last chance gift to allow us to keep our drones. Honestly, the FAA was pretty generous with the latest rule changes. And all we have to do to keep things from getting worse is to follow a few simple rules like the one I'm going to talk about today, registering your drone. According to the FAA, all drones must be registered, with the exception of those that weigh less than 0.55 pounds or less and are flown exclusively as a recreational vehicle. FAA rules state that you can register your drone under Part 107. Now, Part 107 is essentially the FAA rules for UAVs flying for a profit. You can also choose to register your drone under the Recreational Flyer exception. Now, you may fly a Part 107 registered drone recreationally but you cannot fly a recreationally registered drone for profit. In an upcoming video, I'll delve into the deep end of the Part 107 pool for you all, but today we're just going to stick with the simple task of registering our drones. So, to register, you'll go to the FAA website at www.faa.gov and on the main page, you'll find a link to the drone slash UAV section of the FAA's website. Once in the UAV section, to the right, you'll see a heading, Top Tasks. Under that, you'll find a link, Register Your Drone. Click that, and you are on your way. Now, to register, you're going to need an email address a physical mailing address, the make and model of your drone if you're going to register under Part 107, and a credit or debit card. Yes, there is a fee for the registration. Part 107 registration costs a whopping $5 per drone and is valid for three years, as is the exception for recreational flying. The registration is not transferable, and what that means is that if you register as a recreational flyer and you want a Part 107 registration, you'll have to re-register your drone to stay legal. Now, there are a few simple requirements that you must meet to register. You must be 13 years old or older, or have someone 13 years old or older register for you. And you must be a citizen or a legal permanent resident. Now, let's imagine for some reason you can't or don't want to register online. There is a mail-in option, but it really doesn't make a lot of sense. You're going to need to go to the FAA website to get the right forms and the addresses and all of that stuff, so why not just register that way? But you can do it by mail if that's what you like. Now, I'll take you through the rest of the process in a second, but first, let's talk about the ramifications of your failure to register. 
Failing to register can actually carry with it some very harsh penalties, surprisingly harsh. That include regulatory and even criminal penalties. The FAA can assess up to $27,500 in civil penalties, and criminal penalties can include fines of up to $250,000 and imprisonment of up to three years. Holy hell, are they serious about this business? And really, so should you be. Anyhow, let's go ahead and see how to actually register your drone. To begin the process, you will log into the FAA website and create an account or log into an existing account. You next will select the registration type you are selecting, 107 or recreational. You'll input your personal information, your drone information if applying for a 107, and you'll finally make payment for your registration. Now, once you've submitted your information and payment, you will be issued a personal registration number and registration card. Now, tip here, print several copies of the card as you're going to be needing them. Your information can now be found under your personal dashboard for future use, so it'll always be there for you. At this point, you're almost done. Almost. So now we have some work to do at home with our drone. You must put your registration number on your drone. Now, you have a lot of options for how you want to do that. You can simply write on your drone with a sharpie you can use a label of some type but for me i actually have a bit of ocd and i'm going to create the number in adobe illustrator i'm going to cut it out on my vinyl cutter make a sticker and then i will stick that to the drone so it will look nice and professional now we're still not done we're close but we're still not done Remember those registration cards I told you to print a bunch of? Well, this is where you're going to need them. You're going to take them, trim them down, fold them, and you're going to put several in your drone carry case. You're going to put a couple in your wallet. You're going to have them all over the place. Keep them extra handy. You must have your card with you when you're flying. In fact, anyone flying your drone must have one of these cards with them. So what does that mean? This means that if you lend your drone to your brother or your sister or whoever, you're going to need to give them a card to take with them so that they stay within the confines of the law. So print a bunch of cards, keep them handy. There is so much more to the current FAA rules, and in future videos, I'll cover as much as I can. But your best bet is to go to the FAA website, get your learn on. It really is in our hands now whether drones will still be around and flying in a year or two. So, be responsible, know what you're doing, and fly safe. Well, there it is. The simple but mandatory process of registering your drone. But really, it is only the very tip of the iceberg concerning your responsibility as a conscientious drone owner and operator. Failing in that can very likely spell the death of drones for hobbyists. Well, I hope you liked this video. I'll for sure be bringing you more soon. If you did like this, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss one of my drone videos. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please leave them down below. I love to hear from you guys. So, that's it for today. Always remember your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. This is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good.